We're going to demonstrate ASTM D2256, which is tensile testing of yarns by the single strand method. For this particular test, we're using the Enstron 3345 constant rate of extension tensile test. The grips that we're using are pneumatic yarn grips that are rounded at the top to prevent jaw breaks during the test process. The grips themselves are rated at 450 pounds, so we can do anywhere from a small polyester fiber to a heavy aramid fiber. The sample length that we will use is 10 inches for this test method. Each one of these grips is 3 inches, and then there's a 4 inch gap in between. To start the test, we'll insert the yarn into the upper grip, and then we'll follow up by wrapping the yarn around the lower grip and closing it. The machine will start automatically. And the values are recorded on the computer. Breaking strength in pounds, elongation at break in percentage, as well as other options such as elongation at 10 pounds. For each specific yarn, we typically do at least nine tests to get a good average of the material. To demonstrate the difference in results that you would see between a flat yarn and a twisted aramid yarn, uh, we're going to perform two separate tests and show the results. The first test is going to use flat yarn. Just like before, we secure the yarn in the top grip and the bottom grip and the machine starts automatically. For this sample, we're going to use an aramid thread that has two turns per inch of twist in it. So again, we'll secure it in the top grip and then the bottom grip. Our results show the difference between the flat yarn and the twisted yarn. The flat yarn broke at 60.61 pounds, whereas the twisted yarn broke at 71.61 pounds. The, the twisted yarn is a much more accurate representation of what the actual breaking strength of the material is because the fibers broke as a bundle. This is why the test method calls for twist in the aramid material. You may have also heard reference to ASTM D885, which is essentially the same test method as what we're using here, but that's more geared towards tire cord yarns and tire cord fabrics. Uh, the basic test method is the same. Uh, there is also ASTM D7269, which is a standard for aramid yarns, using the same test apparatus and just slightly altering the test method.